Oh man, I'm getting too hot. <laughs> I told you. Oh my god. <laughs> He's all about oh. survival shelter, ain't it? This this is I'm so on fire. <laughs> Welcome back, and I am glad to have you back. And uh, I've been gone for a little bit. It's probably been a little bit over a month. And uh, you could just say I've been hibernating. It's just been a little too warm to even do any kind of uh, cold weather camping. Yeah, this is Illinois. That's what we have to deal with. One minute it's hot, the next minute it's cold. One minute it's 50, the next minute it's 90 degrees outside. Crazy. <laughs> but yes, uh, so a few guys, especially my faithful subs, will stick around for my videos. We did an overnighter about a month ago um, behind my family's property. And well, we, we tried, we made it to about one in the morning. <laughs> but um, for all you didn't know, I came home and that next day our pipes were frozen in my house and we were having all kinds of troubles um, with the house for pretty much this last month. So I've been doing a lot of work. Uh, me and dad survival have been. And uh, yeah, so I mean, it is what it is. But uh, anyways, to get on with everything, we're back. And we are doing a Morris Kohansky style overnighter. And we're doing this overnighter on my property. This is where we uh, did the overnight before last in the bivy sack right here. We're gonna do the same one there. And um, we will go ahead and get the shelter set up. And then I will talk about this shelter um, and show you why this shelter is really cool. And I'm gonna give you some pros and some negatives of the shelter, but Regardless, this is an awesome shelter. Basically, we're gonna talk about the shelter and the science of the shelter. Now, there are plenty of YouTube videos on the shelter, but um, to actually experience this type of shelter in a cold weather environment, it's something you have to experience. It is by far the warmest shelter I've ever slept in, and it is really cool. However, it does have, it, it does have its negatives as well, but I think the pros outweigh the negatives, so. We'll just get on right into it, guys. And everything to make this shelter is in this bag right here. Well, guys, I figure I'd just bring it back a little sooner. I'm also just kind of show you guys how to put the shelter together for the most part. I did the shelter system a couple years ago, and I got a video on that, but. I did the setup process and I, I remember it was kind of boring. So we got it halfway set up. So let me show you what the halfway setup looks like so far. <laughs> okay, so we have a space blanket. Then we have our ridge line we made and I just used or did a trucker's hitch, improvised trucker's hitch. Then on this side, just got a Marlin spike with a, a tent stake going through it, holding it right there. And then we have our crew seat knots, one there. Got one in the middle here. And I got one here. Now let's go ahead and go on the back side of this. Okay, on the back side where our crew seat knot is, I got a loop going through the grommet on there, the tent stake. And the same is done over there. And believe it or not, the ground is soft enough I can put a stake in the ground. So I have two stakes on the back. One there and one there. I also almost forgot to mention the high today is 22 degrees Fahrenheit and the low, or I'm sorry, 24 degrees Fahrenheit and the low 22. Right now, I don't think it's even 24 degrees and it's about 3.30 in the afternoon. Um, last night was our coldest night it's been in a long time. It got down to five degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> they were off by 10 degrees. It was only supposed to be 15 degrees. So yeah, that was, uh, I woke up to that this morning, I was like, oh wow. Uh, they were totally off. Doesn't surprise me though. <laughs> but um, anyways, this might be our last overnighter this winter. I don't know. It's just hard saying. It's been a pretty mild winter here other than a month ago. But we'll see. Alright, we'll move on to part two of putting the shelter together. And then we're going to talk about it and talk about the science of it. So stay tuned. Basically what we did is we got a 2 mil, uh, it was a 10 by 20 plastic sheet and cover the whole space blanket with it now you will have to do some type of your own rigging with this whatever's gonna work best for you i found out my sides were really long 
but from front to back was short. And I used the long end, the 20 foot, for the width. Because last time I did this shelter, my video that I did this an overnight in a couple years ago, I had a hard, had a hard time sealing up the sides. I was like short. And so what happened is that I had to leave one end open, but yet it still got really hot inside this shelter. So let's go around back. Okay, here's the back of it. I've just got staked down here, the plastic staked. And right here I have like a little acorn wrapped in this plastic. And it just crunched on me actually. And I have a paracord tied to a uh, stake. And the same over here. Now I also buried snow over this because I was not able to get a stake on the back here. So I got snow holding it down. Well, there's the entrance <laughs> okay so there isn't a whole lot of room in here <laughs> and that's okay that's what I want because the whole idea of this shelter is to keep you warm and you don't want a big space to heat up so my battery just went dead so I gotta change it but there's still some power on it so with that said the shelter you want kind of small so you can preserve um, not preserve but uh, so you don't have to heat up a big area now we're gonna go ahead and start start off with the negative of this shelter and the very first negative I have is putting it together it takes a little bit of time and effort and especially if it's windy out you're gonna have a really hard time trying to put the plastic over the shelter it is very difficult and I had a lot of trouble doing it but I was able to get it it just took some time so so there's your first negative that's all right stay tuned we got a positive coming here so uh let's move on to the next step one of the positives of the shelter is that's gonna be one of the most warmer shelters you ever you'll ever stay in that's you can backpack with basically because it requires firewood and i had all this over here it's mainly cottonwood i cut it all up after our big shelter or overnighter that we tried to do and it was like five below zero so i have all these big long logs and so that is the positive of the shelter is that it requires fire to keep warm and it does an excellent job with that so uh, we're gonna go ahead and get our fire, our logs put in front of the shelter. And they are long, the length of my body basically, so it'll heat up evenly in front of the shelter. So I'll get my, uh, I'll get that set up and then we'll get our bedding and stuff put inside there and then we're gonna do an overnight. So <laughs> hope you guys are having fun. Okay, I have this uh, this app on my phone. It's gonna give us a temperature for tonight. I'm gonna show you what the low is right now. We'll see how good this thing works. <laughs> it definitely doesn't work. <laughs> it's saying it's 67, 67 degrees. There's no way. <laughs> oh my gosh, dislike. Oh, come on, get out of there. Okay. Never mind, I was gonna have a thermostat for you guys. My phone's saying 67 out here. That's not true at all. That is so weird. Okay, well, that's not true. I guarantee it, because there would be snow on the ground if there was. Okay, well, we figured that out. Let's go ahead and, uh, you guys are just have to take my word for it. It's saying on my phone it's 17 degrees but the low is supposed to be like 22 tonight so i don't know they're they're off quite a few degrees these last couple nights so 
Anyways, let's get the fire going, guys. <laughs> this is definitely gonna be interesting. It's very windy out tonight. We're using trioxine fuel. Oh man, it is cold. It has been this cold in probably a good month. There we go. really really windy <laughs> oh feels good go ahead and let that burn for a little bit and uh, we'll get inside the tent and we will talk about a little more about this and we'll go on to our next negative So windy. Ugh. So basically my opening's on the side here. Most people do it in the front, but mine just didn't work out that way. I think for now I'm just gonna cover with that. So here it is from the inside. And that heat is man <laughs> it is just really really warm ah uh, let me see get a light here for you yeah so basically it's reflecting off this foil here and yeah it's very it's very 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 warm in here right now it's a very windy if you can tell so it's gonna be a very interesting night. <laughs> Look at, that's how windy it is. This is insane. Oh, that thing came down. I'll get back to you guys here. Give me a moment. I want to talk a little bit about the negatives of the shelter or the next uh, critic I have of it. Or critique, I guess. I don't know if that's the right words. Um, first we talked about the first negative was that it was windy. It's very hard to set this thing up in the wind, especially as plastic. Um, but the second part of it was it's one of the warmest shelters you're ever going to sleep in, backpacking wise. Something you can carry with you real easy in a little bag. The third one is, is that it takes firewood to keep the shelter warm. So you had to have a very large large fire in order for this to work properly and just have a lot of firewood to last all night say six to eight hours so you figure you're burning wood up pretty fast every two hours maybe depending on what kind of wood you have and how big so i had cut all this wood up a month ago and it's been ready and i have you saw the big pile i had out there this morning or this afternoon i showed you and i don't know if that will even get me through the night. It's a lot of wood, but with the wind being the way it is and blowing, it's gonna burn up fast. So that's another thing for survival situation. You know, is this gonna be something that you're gonna be prepared to be able to do? If you're hiking all day and you're wore out and tired, you just need to sleep. You'd have all this work to do, get the shelter set up because honestly, this shelter is no good without a fire. You're basically out of the wind and rain, but it's not gonna keep you warm versus like having something like a canvas tarp and a sleeping bag was really gonna keep you windproof. So that's another negative. But we'll go on to the next positive here in a little bit. <laughs> well, what we're sleeping in the night is a military thermarest pad, wool blanket, 
Kyvek tarp and we are using again the Canadian Forces sleep system just the outer bag or this might be the, either the outer inner bag and then I got a pillow here a free pillow I got from a sportsman's guide and believe it or not it's a surplus pillow <laughs> military surplus pillow made in the USA See the fire out there just whipping away. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's really hot in here. You really don't even need a sleep bag for this kind of shelter, to be honest with you, but we might have a special appearance with Angel Survival tonight. And uh she's on her way home actually right now. She's never experienced a shelter like this, and I can't get her to go winter camping, but she might come out for a few minutes, so uh, stay tuned for that. <laughs> yeah, basically what I'm doing is I've been kind of switching the wood, twisting it around, because I want to get the whole length of this going here. And then I can start adding more of the logs on for the rest of the night. But, uh... I got a pretty thick one down there, so it's gonna keep burning for quite a while. We got all this to burn here, so it's pretty much you can see almost knee knee level. That's about where you want it. Is knee level for to really get this thing nice and warm. Look who decided to show up. Sorry, it's bright. <laughs> what do you think of the shelter, honey? It's so uh, warm. <laughs> First time in a Morris Kohansky style shelter, huh? Yes. And it is, it is way too hot in here. Oh man! Ooh, Sorry. It's hot on my face. I told you, yeah, it's hot, isn't it? <laughs> wow. So what did you think? Did you, this is what you expected, like what I was telling you about? Uh, you said it was gonna be hot. Yeah, it's hot, you isn't said, it? You said I'd be surprised. Are you surprised? Uh huh. But the only thing is, I don't have a thermostat. The one I had on my phone was no good. <laughs> you taking a picture? Yeah. Say cheese, guys. That's right. There we go. Woo -wee. Woo. Oh, my. So one of the dangers oh, of this shelter. This. Yeah. One of the dangers of this shelter, guys, is that you get little holes from the embers, as you can see right there. It doesn't feel safe. So you got holes right there. I'm already getting holes in here, but it's just really windy out. Uh -oh, yeah, I got another one over here. Oh, I got one there too. Oh my <laughs> Angel don't have much room in here. You guys sit right here, honey. Uh, yeah, you can put your feet over here where mine are. Oh man, I'm getting too hot. <laughs> I told you. Oh my god. <laughs> Woo. He's all about oh. survival shelter, ain't it? This this I'm is so on fire. <laughs> You gotta take your jacket off. <laughs> yeah, this is a real, this is a real uh, warming, warm shelter. This is for sure. <laughs> you want to take your jacket off, honey? Is this what you were using in the Sub Zero tent? I'll get back to you guys. <laughs> we are going to call it a night. I think I put some more logs on the fire here, and. Uh, Oh my gosh, it is just so hot in here. And I got my Canadian Force sleep system piled up here. I don't even need a sleeping bag right now. It's so hot in here right now. It's just, oh man, it's too hot. But I got a feeling if I don't get back out of here and put more wood on here, I will be using the sleep system to sleep in. So we'll see. But yeah, <laughs> this is, this is awesome, guys. I'm glad I was able to get out and do an overnighter with you guys tonight. So, but I'll see you tonight. I will see you bright early in the morning. So, uh, that said, guys, I'll talk to you in the morning. Good night, guys. Well, I don't know if you can see it, but 
this is how hot it is in here and get my light on you can see my face how red it is but i am sweating you can see my hands there how glossy they are that is sweat that is so hot in here right now it's just it's it's almost unbearable <laughs> i'm gonna have to turn the other way <laughs> well it is what time is it it is 1 54 in the morning i've maybe got maybe an hour of sleep got my second round of wood on here and it is just oh my gosh i mean i am i'm burning up in here bad but the fire is pretty much gone it was out and it got kind of cold in here and so i decided to go ahead and put more wood on there just because the fact is that i have not been able to sleep because it has been so windy this and this have been snapping back and forth so much it's it's woke me up quite a bit. I've been having a hard time sleeping. Oh my gosh. I think I got too much wood on here. Whew. I'm gonna back that fire away a little bit, guys, and I'll see you in the morning. I'm hoping I can get some sleep here. <laughs> oh man. Good morning, guys. It's uh it's a bit early it's going on three in the morning <laughs> but uh oh i'm just i can't sleep anymore i'm just laying here this wind is just you see i was just whipping the shelter just back and forth and it's been hard to sleep at all tonight i maybe only had about an hour of sleep tonight <laughs> or throughout the night just about an hour so yeah but i think i'm gonna go ahead and get up and start getting stuff packed up and uh we'll do a little after action report in the survival shed and uh we'll have some coffee and stuff so i will see you guys here in a few good morning that right there is why you don't want the fire too hot or too close because it got really hot in here and all of a sudden i had to put the fire back pretty far which is still going it's almost out but it's probably about six feet away from us and it's still hot in here. So yeah, that's one thing to keep in mind. All right, guys, we made it through the overnighter. <laughs> okay, I'll make this brief. We're at the last action report of the video. And uh, it was it was a fun night, and um, it was just a little rough through the night. Um, a thing with this shelter is that there is no way to, um, to really regulate the heat properly. I mean, you could regulate the heat with it by keeping the fire at a low low to the ground you can regulate the heat by keeping the fire so far away from the shelter but other factors taking place if you don't put a lot of firewood down then you're gonna be getting up in the middle of the night multiple times to keep that fire going and that's rough to do especially if it's really cold outside i got up let's well, see i got well i got the first time i got the fire so hot it was so close to me started melting the the plastic <laughs> And it was so hot in there. It was way too hot. So I had to move the fire back, and I did that twice. So I got out of the shelter like three times trying to get, the, get it regulated. And even when I had it about, I was probably about five feet away from me, it was still really hot in there. So that shelter system is so hot. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so other than that, I mean, the shelter system is excellent for survival. It is the warmest shelter you will ever sleep in. And I've probably said this on the how many times now. Um, something you can just put in your backpack and go, other than a hot tent. But uh, in, a, in a small configuration like that, it just requires a lot of work. But it's a really fun shelter, and it's something Morris Kohansky did, and that's where I learned it from. But 
Got like one drop, drop of coffee left. But with that said, guys, um, hope you all learned something in this video. It was fun. I was glad to get out and make a video for you guys. And uh, it's been a while. So, <laughs> but um, I, I can't really think of too much else to say on the shelter. Other, other than the things that I mentioned, the pros and the negatives and the pro or the pros and cons, but um, yeah, it's just an awesome shelter. So if you guys would, just leave your comments below. Let me know what you, you thought of the video. Let me know what you think about the shelter system. Have you ever tried this shelter system or done it? I know a lot of the, my Canadian uh, followers on here know this system. I'm pretty sure you do because <laughs> Morris Clancy was can Canadian. So uh, anyways, <laughs> we made it. God bless you guys, and I will, I'll see you soon. I don't know when the next video is going to be, but when it is, it is. So, uh, when it is, it is. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just not awake right now. Uh, anyways, guys, I was glad to have you back, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. So, uh, guys, God bless and take care. Leave your comments below, please. <laughs> I want to hear from you guys. I miss you guys, so. All right. <laughs> Bye.